My name is Laurent Lachal. I am part of the software group at Ovum. Ovum is an industry analyst company. We cover telecom, media, and software. Linux containers are not a particularly new technology, but the Docker technology is new. And Docker technology is a good idea. It's a very simple idea, which was to standardize the way Linux operate the Linux operating system DAS containers and also to so you standardize the way you talk to the operating system and you also offer a nice way to package applications so that the package uh, talks to the operating system to tell the operating system what to do with it. And actually there's a, a, a two level of adoption when it comes to containers. The first level of, adop of adoption prior to Docker was mostly within web scale companies as a way to boost utilization and therefore um, the economics of the cloud. Because obviously in a cloud, con in, a in a large scale, large scale public cloud context, the more you can cram onto your platform, the more revenue you get out of your resources. And what Docker has done by creating this new way of packaging applications, this standardized way of packaging applications, it has moved the usefulness of containers from this idea of density, which is still very valid, to this idea of ease of packaging, which appeals to developers. Um, and this uh, Ease of packaging is also connected to a current interest in continuous uh, delivery, DevOps, because you can then automate the creation of that this package as part of your DevOps process. And that's where the enterprise market got interested. So th the first people who got interested are the cloud scale companies, PaaS, PaaS companies, a lot of PaaS companies were using a mix of utilization and containers. And, and then when Docker arrived, the focus shifted from higher density, higher utilization, to ease of packaging, um, automating the creation of this package uh, in a DevOps process. Um, which makes basically, so you automate the package, you automate the way this package flows between uh, development, testing, and production, and it makes the environment standard. So it's, it's the same environment across, so that's also a benefit. Um, yeah, so, and uh, on the back of that interest, which is more or less, a, a, which is a kind of a bottom up interest, because um, container were adopted to start with just by developers who are, were attracted uh, by the convenience of easily packaging their application code and being able to move it uh, um, throughout the similar env environments as well as to automate its building and, and uh, movement across um, um, development process.